Chuck Hawley from West Marine. You know, upgrading your boat's trailer can be a pretty darn simple task that you can accomplish over half a weekend or, or uh, even just in a morning, and you can add a lot of value to it. There are any number of trailers that come right out of the factory with good equipment, but there are some upgrades that can make it into great equipment. So let's take a look at a few of those examples. One of our favorite trailer accessories over the last year has been the Fulton F2 jack. This is a 1,600 pound capacity jack with some really nice features. Now in the salt air environment like we have in Santa Cruz, most galvanized jacks last for a couple of years and they turn into just a pile of rust. The F2 jack is predominantly aluminum with a little plastic and stainless steel and as a result, the F2 jacks that have been installed on trailers for the last year look brand new. One feature that I like is that it's got this big T handle for rotating it up and down. So you pull out the handle, rotate it, very easy, very secure, no pinched fingers. It also has a very high return speed and, and jack speed. I don't know if you can see this, but it's running down very quickly. And also, it's very powerful, very easy to lift up. This trailer has a couple of hundred pounds of tongue weight and it's just uh, butter smooth. It also, as you can see, has a dual caster wheel and the caster on it is very sensitive. I can move this just with a little bit of side force and it casters very easily. A lot of jacks, you know, it's as if the wheel's cemented in place. It doesn't caster at all very well. Also has a little handy uh, guy here that allows you to lock your handle in place. This is handy when the jack is folded up so that the hand handle doesn't hang down. Another neat feature is that it comes with two sets of U-bolts. These U-bolts clamp onto standard size trailer frame members and instead of having a bunch of brackets and pieces of steel hanging all over the place, you get U-bolts with a couple of nuts and washers and you can install this thing in just minutes. So 1600 pound capacity, aluminum and stainless and plastic construction, very fast jacking speed, U-bolts instead of normal bolts, double caster wheel, Really, really a great upgrade for your trailer. The next item on our trailer upgrade list is to upgrade your winch. We have a really, really nice companion to the F2 jack, which is the F2 winch. This is a 2,000 pound capacity winch. Now, you should remember that when you're dealing with winches, it depends on how many wraps you have on the drum. So this is 2,000 pound capacity with the strap all the way out, down to 1,000 pound capacity with the strap all the way in. That's how they're measured. So once again, like the F2 jack, this has aluminum construction, so it's very, very corrosion resistant. I have to point out that on this particular boat, it worked better to put the jack upside down on this support. Normally it would be right side up. A Couple of the features that I like about it. One is that it's got dual gears on it, so it's extremely smooth in operation. Second, it has a much easier to use ratchet. You know, most, uh, trailer winch ratchets. You get your fingers near the gears and it's hard to tell if you're going forwards or backwards. This has a big knob which goes either direction and is really secure. So it has winch in, ratcheting in, ratcheting out, and then freewheeling. The third thing is that it has this cast aluminum handle. And you may have an opportunity to have lots of swinging room where you want the maximum amount of leverage possible. Or, in this case, I've got fairly limited swinging room. I can actually change where the bolt attaches the handle to the shaft and change the uh, amount of throw. So from about six inches all the way up to 10 inches of throw. This product comes pre-spooled with some high quality two inch webbing and a big galvanized hook. And it has really changed how I think about winches because normally they're exposed, they look ugly on the bow of your boat and they immediately rust in this case, this looks cool, no rust, very easy operation. That's the F2 winch from Fulton. One of the areas that's subject to the most abuse on any trailer is the trailer axle and bearings. That's because as you drive to a launch ramp, you generate a certain amount of heat in your bearings, and especially if they're not properly lubricated, but we'll presume that they are. And that, that area, that axle and bearing and hub, get warm enough and then you plunge it into a bunch of cold lake water or ocean water and it sucks water into the bearing assembly and it's really bad news. And then you drive around for the next 500 miles with a bunch of salty grease inside. So there are a number of products on the market like these Fulton bearing protectors which allow you to 
pressurize the grease inside your hub and axle assembly and keep this from happening. Let me show you how this works. These wheel bearing protectors install in the end of your hub and they consist of, they're a precision machine to tap into the hub and then on this end you have a zerk fitting and you have a piston with a spring on it. The idea is that this is in place and you put the grease zerk on here, or you put your grease gun on the grease zerk and start pumping it full of grease. And as you do that, it pushes this piston out against the spring pressure. Now you don't want to push it so hard that there's no spring left, you want to push it about halfway. And at that point, what happens is that it keeps pressure on the grease and doesn't allow any water to come in when you immerse it in the cold water. This also makes it much easier to re-grease your bearings because you just put a grease gun on there and pump it up until the piston moves about halfway. So very straightforward. There are about four sizes of these and it's all determined by the inside diameter of your hub or actually the outside diameter of this area right here. And there are sizes from below two inches up to, I think this is probably the biggest size. So very, very easy to install and it makes your maintenance easier from then on. Once you do put those in place, you want to get some wheel bearing protector covers. These are just little vinyl covers that slip over and protect the grease zerk from getting all the road grime and dirt on it. Uh, so it, and it also neatens up the appearance of it. So these Fulton bearing protectors can make it much, much easier for you to maintain your trailer bearings and to keep salt and fresh water out of the bearing assembly. A great upgrade for trailer security is the use of boat buckles. These are ingenious replacements to the normal transom tie downs and for that matter your bow tie down. And these automate the process and make it so much easier. So you've probably seen how these work before. They're fantastic. First of all, they're self-retracting. So when they're not in use, they don't drag around the dry storage yard or drag behind you in the garage. They have a padded hook, vinyl covered hook. You throw it over your transom eye and then just give a couple of quick pulls on this handle and it's super, super tight. And that's all you have to do in order to secure your boat for trailering. When you want to release it, there's some little release tabs. You push on them, goes away. This makes it extremely easy. And you know, you get in the habit of putting them on all the time, even if you're just moving the boat a short distance. The boat buckles are available in either a stainless steel version or at a slightly reduced price, you can get them in a plated steel version. They come in pairs for the transom or in singles for the bow eye. And the bow eye operation is exactly the same. You simply bolt it to your frame member. You use a 7 16 inch bolt. So you probably are gonna need to have a 7 16 inch um, very sharp drill bit. But I found I could blow the hole through this frame member uh, only using a 3 8 inch drill. So it worked out well. And what's the other nice thing, these guys are pretty crafty. The packaging allows you to actually try it out in the store. So you'll be convinced even before you get them back to your boat that these are a really, really nice upgrade. One of the most challenging tasks when you're operating your boat solo is to figure out how to get it back on the trailer aligned so that you can haul it back out of the water on a ramp. Well, using boat guides like these from CE Smith make that job a lot easier. These are uh, galvanized pieces of steel which fit into brackets on the underside of the trailer and they provide you with the ability to run your boat up between them and to make you fit straight on the trailer. This is especially handy if you have any sort of surge or current in the trailer launch ramp area which tends to skew your boat sideways. The installation is really simple and in this particular case these actually are lit on the top with clearance lights. So when you're backing your trailer down the ramp it makes it much easier to see in low light conditions uh, because you've got something to aim with out looking in your rear view mirrors. Installation is simple. Let me show you how this works. These guides simply bolt in place using the uh, brackets and U-bolts that come with it. Take a look, this is pretty straightforward. In this case, we've got a, our trailer fore and aft member. We put the U-bolts on the underside. We've got uh, washers and nylock nuts. We'll tighten those up. And as we tighten it up, we can also adjust the distance in and out from the center line. So we can have a relatively tight fit on the side of the boat, or we can loosen it up for a little bit more leeway. In any case, this is a really simple installation, and the only other thing you have to do is to run the wires from the LED clearance light down through the member and pick up your auxiliary lighting circuit, which is right on the inside of the trailer frame. 
If you already have trailer guides but you want to add lights to them, this is kind of a neat package that allows you to do it. These are LED wands that stand up from your trailer guides. Uh, they're waterproof and in fact they've got a flexible joint at the bottom so if you bang them around they don't break. And these provide another 24 inches of viewing area both for other vehicles when you're on the road but also for you when you're backing your trailer down a steeply inclined ramp. This makes it extremely easy to add lights to your existing guides. Another really nice addition to your existing trailer is to replace its incandescent running lights and clearance lights with LED running lights and clearance lights. These particular ones are designed to fit the standard cutouts that are common on many, many trailers. And the advantage is that you get a light which has virtually unlimited lifespan. No worry about carrying extra bulbs with you because they're just not going to burn out. Plus it's entirely waterproof. Uh, and it also produces a lot less heat. So when you do put it in a trailer into the uh, cold water, it's not going to cause it to crack or, or uh, get water inside of it. So they're hermetically sealed, really long lifetime, in fact infinite lifetime, and easy to install. This is a rubber gasket that you can pop the old light out, put the new light in in just minutes, and a couple of waterproof butt splices and you're ready to go. You know one of the biggest challenges if you like to boat by yourself and you've got a trailerable boat is to get the tow vehicle and the trailer connected correctly. Well this has been made a heck of a lot easier by this new product. This is called the Speedy Hitch Camera and it combines a wireless color 2.4 gigahertz camera which mounts on the back of your tow vehicle and sort of points down towards the trailer hitch and the trailer tongue and then this little receiver which has a full color display and they're wireless. So you just stick this onto the steel part of your vehicle and it's got a magnet or it's actually countersunk so you can screw it in place. Turn it on, start backing up your trailer and get the proper alignment. And this keeps you from, I don't know if you've ever done this, but I've done it once or twice, where the trailer hitch hits the back of the car and it, no good can come of that. This also has rechargeable batteries. So you comes with a charger, you plug it into the wall, both the display and the camera plug into this charger and you, in a couple of hours you're back up to full charge so you don't have to buy watch batteries or some peculiar arcane battery. All of this technology is packaged together for only $300 and it is really a lifesaver. And incidentally, if you're trying to hook up your trailer at night and it can be pitch black dark, there are actually little infrared lights around the camera. Those will turn on automatically and you'll be able to see this even at night without using a flashlight or trying to rely on your backup lights on your vehicle. These trailer upgrade projects can take as little as 15 minutes and they make a giant difference to the convenience and the longevity of your trailer. If you've got a trailer that's even relatively new but it's got some cheap components on it, considering upgrading. The boat trailer guides are a great way to allow you to solo launch and retrieve your boat. Products from Fulton, including the F2 jack and the F2 winch, will greatly reduce corrosion and they're great looking on your boat. And of course, the wheel bearing protectors are a nice addition, especially if you ramp launch. LED trailer lights are a great way also to reduce maintenance because you don't have to worry about replacing bulbs. They stay cooler and they're hermetically sealed for life. Well, we hope this has given you the courage to go out there and upgrade your trailer. Thanks, and we'll see you on the road.